Good morning, my name is Phil Karpovich and I'm an associate consultant with IBIS. Welcome to my webinar on AX role centers and how they provide everyone in your organization with BI. In this webinar, I will show you what a role center is, how the business intelligence is used in role centers, who can actually use these role centers, and then finally give you a demonstration on the role centers in my demo environment. So what is a role center? A role center is a SharePoint website that has a collection of web parts that tie back to your data for your company. So as you can see from the screenshot, you have your website or your home, set, home page, and you have a number of different web parts. So each of these boxes, the bank account balance, the organizational performance indicators, financial ratios, those are all web parts that are highly customizable and you can add or remove data from those and even add new web parts to your role center. So how business intelligence works in these role centers is each web part connects back to your cubes that are pre-deployed with AX. AX out of the box comes with 15 cubes and that's everything from accounts receivable to budgeting to your general letter, ledger. As you can see from this screenshot, you have your organizational performance indicators and financial ratios. So you have KPIs and indicators that are coming again from your live data from your company right here on this web page or home page in AX. As you can also see on these web parts, you can add indicators or add KPIs and manage them. So if there's a KPI or indicator you're not seeing in your role center but like to add, you can very easily add it. So who can use these role centers? Quite frankly, everyone. The role center and web parts are designed to be used from upper level management, so a CFO, CEO level position, which, see, which is seeing data and seeing data points across the entire company down to a middle manager role who has just information for their department they're overseeing, then all the way down to just a worker like an AR clerk who can see the data for their job for that day or what they have to take care of their tasks. So now I'm going to switch over to my demo environment and show you live role centers that I have running right now and I'll show you three of them. The chief financial officer one, the credit and collections manager, and then an accounts receivable clerk. So this role center is the chief financial officer one, and as you can see, it has these overarching data points for across the company. So you have your company's gross profit, your quick ratio, KPIs in this web part, and then over on the left hand, right hand side, you have your organizational performance indicators, such as your sales revenue, your gross profit, you can have EBITDA here, um, open accounts payable. Again, these indicators are more than what you see here, and you can add or subtract them pretty easily. You can also tie in Excel Power View reports to the web centers through SharePoint, which you see in these, this map and this graph. And these are up-to-date interactive charts and graphs, which you can create in Excel and create in Power View and move over to SharePoint very easily. The next role center I'm going to show you is the Credit and Collections Manager role center. So this is for a mid-level manager who's overseeing the Credit and Collections department and wants to know how their department's doing. So what we have here is we have a web part for queues. What a queue is, is a, it's a list of activities or documents out of AX that are tied to this role. So as you see here, you have open customer invoices or customer invoices passed to do with a number of how many of those are out there. So in this example, we have 132 open customer invoices for a total of over $8 million and 124 pass to due for again over eight million dollars. We also have a work list web part which is tied to the user who's logged in and will show alerts or approvals needed from this person. So if you have alerts set up or if you have approval set up through your workflows in AX, you can have those tied to this user and they'll see whatever they have to do for the day or they have to still approve in this work list. We also have an SSRS report aging summary here which again, for this manager, shows for their collections department how their aging looks. So you have a quick graph right here, you can easily see how aging is for your department. Finally, we have the accounts receivable administrator slash clerk role. This looks very similar to the manager role, but the problem, it's really set up to have the work list and the queues for just that user. Um, as you see, the work list is primarily displayed and that's the first thing that they'll see logging into this and they'll know what they have to do for the day or for the week. So those are the three levels of role centers. 
But as I said before, the roll centers are highly customizable. So if you want something between here, if you want to move a web part somewhere else, if you want to add a web part, add data to a web part, you very easily can. You can also create whole new web centers, whole, whole new role centers on the fly. Um, so if you have a position that you don't see as a out of the box role center, you can create that. So that is the role centers in AX and how they provide everyone in your organization with business intelligence. If you have any questions, feel free to email info at ibisinc.com. We'll get back to you and thanks for joining us.